مشاهدينا الكرام اهلا وسهلا فيكم في حلقه جديده من حلقاتنا الاسبوعيه لرواد الاعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقه بان نستضيف سيده اعمال ناجحه ومن زاويه سيده الاعمال الاكثر نجاحا رحبوا معي بسبيشال بزنس وومن مدام ارشي اونر اوف يوروبيان بيتس بدايه جود افترنون جود افترنون نايس تو ميت يو نايس تو ميت يو فيرست اوف اول اي وود لايك تو ميت يو اند ذا فيورز از ويل نو اباوت يو And when did you came to UAE? And when did you start your business? Okay, myself, I'm Harsha, and uh, I came in 2005 in UAE as uh, like I was working for uh, uh, airlines company in Mumbai and in Mumbai airport. So that brings me here because I was having a dream to work with Emirates that time. So that's how I started, and I came in 2005. I started with uh, Emirates Airlines. working as a ground staff for just a span of one year and then from there i moved to a food company called uh, mh enterprises so this company they are the distributors for uh, food items like uh, for all type of cuisine arabic and uh, egyptians and uh, thai japanese uk american everything all kind of cuisine which they we supply all restaurants cafeterias and uh, big five star four star it's a name term as a horeca so i was actually working with the horeca division which is hotel restaurants and catering and cafes so that's how i started my career as a sales person handling the all kind of hotels and catering divisions for ua market since 2006 i started and i worked till 2016 so Yeah, so this is uh, I started, and uh, gradually I started with the sales, then the BDM, business development manager, and then I end up with the uh, sales and marketing head for that division. And during this all uh, journey, and we we know that uh, it's Dubai is a very fast life, and uh, we work for the whole day, and then we go home. We feel loneliness, like we need someone. to interact when you are alone course, here definitely if your family is not here of course your family back in home and i stay here alone my family is in india so that's how i look for something for myself so when i go when i go home i need someone is waiting so i got a pet uh, in 2016 which is uh, shizu and his name is coco and uh, i got it actually from this market and uh, when i got this uh, pet the i was very new for the pet i never in my past life or my family maintain a pet or have their pets in their life so for me it is a very first time so no knowledge no <laughs> nothing i didn't knew about the breed about their temperament about the food about their health how to take care what's the timing how to maintain them nothing and when i bought it from the person even uh, i have noticed notice actually the majority of pet shops the staff they just uh, want to sell it's it's a product for them so they just want to sell their product and that's it done so then i gradually started checking on youtube about their cycle about everything so then i get very close to them i understand i started understanding them that what how they feel what they feel what they need then i came it came into my mind to have a pet shop so that at least i can fill that gap between the pet shop owner to pet pet to the families that's very really nice madam yeah. ashi we would like to know more about arabian pets what do we have here yeah. and european pets under european pets uh, roof we are dealing with the cats we are dealing with the dogs all kind of breeds in cats dogs in fishes and uh, in the breeds in the terms uh, like first we we come with the with the cats we have british short hair we breed uh, scottish fold we breed bengal we breed persians which uh, very very well known is as a shirazi for the local families and uh, more they like the shirazi breed so we, our focus is uh, more on uh, those uh, categories and uh, uh, also we have accessories so that if if the customers if the customers are coming to get one pet for their family so they should get everything under one roof 
about the supplies, about the food, cat litters, bed, medicines, vitamins, multivitamins, and uh, their litters, their toys, their uh, accessories, everything. We provide all everything in one room. So customer should not go one here, here, there, here, there, here, there for everything. That's so nice, madam. Yeah. As you know that we have a, a lot of pet shops here in UAE. How did you make yourself special in the market? Yeah, that is very important because I, when I started to open this, uh, my focus was to be very unique and very different from the other uh, pet shops. Uh, in the difference in the in the sense sense that if the cat or dog we are selling, so we should educate our customers that this is the family member, and what all consideration and after sale service we can provide which other pet shops are not providing. If you if you buy any any kind of species like cat, dog, birds, or fishes, they will just sell you, and after that they. They might, they don't, they will not even tell you anything about that. Right. But here in European pets, once it's not the one time business, you are customer for us for the lifetime until you have that pet with you. So in, uh, we provide the veterinary services, guidance, which veterinary they can go, what kind of uh, things they have to ask with the doctor about the vaccinations. We. We up to date the passport with the vaccination, whatever it's required for the cat and dog up to the age, what the age which we have. So after that, once they are having the pet, what all necessary documents they have to follow with the veterinary, we do the guidance of that about the food, about the feeding cycles, what all uh, they can feed their pet, about the litter training, about the behavior training everything time to time time to time we provide our customers so that their life is very easy and simple that's that's really nice <laughs> madam as a businesswoman what is your plan after three years from now my focus is to have a kennel where i can breed my own pets now people and most majority pet shops they are trying to bring pets from outside countries like you uh, ukraine egypt Poland, Russia, and all this country. I don't say that it's not good. It's 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 a good leg, but in a way, it's it's a stress for the pet by traveling from the cargo plane and then by the road because they end up with the uh, Oman uh, airport and from Oman they come. Of by. So it's it's like we are in a way we are torturing them just for our business. So to avoid those things, I'm planning to get my own breeds where. I know what I'm breeding, the purity of dogs, the health, and uh, the uh, the puppies uh, cycles, everything I can maintain by myself. So when I'm any when anybody is coming to my roof, they can see okay the mother is there, the father is there, the breeds are pure, they have taken very good care, the hygiene is maintained, the vaccinations is maintained properly. So this I I have a focus to come under uh, my own kennel breeding which i can provide all kind of breeds by in dogs and in cats of course we wish all the best for you, you and to do it in the future inshallah thanks madam we are living in uae the best country in the world we are safe here i would like to hear a message from you to thank the rulers of uae for the safety the security and the support that they have given to us. Yes, this is very important because to be honest, being uh, alone uh, in business and uh, uh, staying in uh, UAE since past so many years. So first is uh, the safety and security. I am from India actually. So even in I, if, I, if I say like an Indian woman, if in India we go outside, so we have to think about the timings and all. But in, in UAE, in Dubai especially, I can go anytime, anywhere, any places because I know it's safe. Of course. And uh, d regarding the support from the government and the management and where, uh, wherever we, uh, we go, it's really a huge support because they give us a platform to show our ability, uh, to show our uh, strength and to fulfill our dreams. So this is very very big thing, and it's a really appreciate. It's a big thank to the Dubai to the Dubai government and Dubai police. The most most thing is like Dubai police. 
they they take care of our uh, safety and security if we have any problems they come and they solve those things they they take they don't in like they don't treat us like we are from outside countries they treat us like we are the part of their family we are part of their country which is really good for us thank you very much yeah. for your message before i end the program i would like to ask uh, our location where we are here in dubai yeah. we are actually located in uh, warsan 3 and uh, the the uh, compound name is dubai pets and market and it's easily easily available in google uh, map so if anybody is mentioning Dubai Ports and Bets Market, so they can reach here. And our block is Block A1. The shop number is 18, and uh, it's the name is European Pets Trading. Dear viewers, contact numbers and the location below the screen. Madam Arshi, thank you very much, and we wish all the best for you. Thank you so much. مشاهدي الكرام ولا هنا تنتهي حلقتنا لهذا الأسبوع تابعونا كل جمعة وسبت على قناتكم ABC العربية. دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله.